what's up guys, it's Kino. It's been a while. I'm taking a day off and working on the car. Right now, Ikepon hey. is working on his headlights because the lens is uh, not cl as clean as it used to be. So uh, he's spraying all these stuff. Uh, it is called Vertex Super Clean Shampoo. <laughs> Shampoo. <laughs> it cleans the lens, it, it kind of melts the surface so that it's uh, pretty clean um, and smooth but yeah uh, you see how it's still yellowish uh, on this side we, we applied twice and it's a lot more clear um, I think he's gonna be applying a little bit more so we got in the shitty corn I'm not going to do it I'm going to あの、<笑><笑> <laughs> Alright, so we put the uh, headlights back on and it is a lot more clearer than what it used to be. Of course, uh, if you want perfect clearness, uh, you have to sand it, wet sand it, and um, I'll leave a link of the procedure if you're interested. I, I did that on my Subi a while ago, like two years ago. But yeah. Um, that's what it looks like and that's the silicone that he used uh, it's in Japanese I don't think they sell these in the States or any other countries but yeah it's by Shin Etsu so if you're interested go check it out yeah yeah <laughs> all right so back to the main thing that we're working on for the Subi um, so this is the uh, panel for the audio, the tweeter. Um, if you haven't seen the previous vlogs, go check it out. The link will be on the description. And what we're doing right now is we're trying to add the uh, fiberglass behind this. And we'll be adding some more just to like make it perfect. But yeah. And big shout out to Ikepon <laughs> Jorins. <laughs> Again, if this was the outside layer, uh, you're not supposed to apply these uh, too much to the point where it's that wet but because it's an inside layer and we're gonna make another layer over it uh, it's all good so this is gonna be the base the kind of like a frame of the whole thing while we're waiting for this to dry I'm gonna add some positive camber to the car uh, just because on this side it has a lot more negative camber compared to this side. This side it's running flush like that. But on this side, because uh, we replaced the hub bearing, uh, when we put the knuckle back on, I got some extra ne negative camber. What we're about to do now is we're gonna lift the car first because if we don't lift the car, while we change the camber, um, this thing, because of the weight, it might go like extra negative and it will be really, really hard to uh, pull it back. And uh, I do see some people um, hammering this thing to move, but uh, you're not supposed to do that because it might damage. Yeah, uh, don't hammer it. Lift it up just a little and you have to like manually adjust it. 
I think that's really good actually. Uh, it's sitting super flush. Look at that. I don't really want uh, too much camber on the rear. Just because it's all wheel drive, it's just gonna give extra under steering. And the same on this side. And if you look at the, the fiberglass fender, the wide body fender you get like less than a millimeter of space the clearance and uh, when I touched it it was about the same on this side if it cracks it cracks that's that's a sign for me to go on to a wider fender but yeah that shit's good yeah, so because it's all-wheel drive, like I said earlier, I like the front camber to be negative, like 2.5-ish, and the rear in between zero and one degree. That's like the ideal for all-wheel drive. I mean, if you're into like camber gang kind of stuff or like stance, then you might want a lot more camber. But for me, I want the car to drive fun and fast, so yeah. I want the car to be able to turn without too much understeering. That's why I get less negative camber in the rear. You know what? I could do a video on the cambers. Uh, I've done a lot of researches when I used to go to Toge. Uh, I had this one mechanic guy who helped me all the time to uh, change the settings so like every three days I would change the camber settings and like the toe and everything I'm pretty familiar with it so uh, if you guys are interested if you want me to do a video on it on cambers and how it performs um, like there's depending on the setting your car could run like super oversteer or understeer uh, sometimes to the point where it's really dangerous but yeah if you're interested if you want me to do a video on it leave a comment down below I'll look at it and if there's enough people who's interested I'll make a video all right guys so uh, we couldn't get much done today um, it is still drying but yeah uh, maybe next time now it's probably gonna take like two three more videos to complete that we still have to take all these off and apply another layer and there's the other side this is only the right side so the driver's side so yeah but I am happy that I got the uh, camber fixed nice soon we didn't get much done today but I'm gonna close off the vlog I'm glad that I got to vlog today uh, it's been a while and thank you so much. Make sure you guys follow his channel. He's, he does a lot of DIYs if you guys haven't seen it yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he is about to go fishing with his friends. And I only got like two hours of sleep. So I'm going to go back, uh, take a nap. I might have another interview today. I'm not sure. I'm still waiting for the reschedule email. But anyways, I'm going to close off the vlog. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Peace. Napravi provere, io ve l'inti savere Provo di volo vei, vodi di sapore Tanta con esto visto l'ita de sapore Che sa di e nai morirà Si li li sa si e pa Tra se ne poco ti glas Pa 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 p